Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HEB. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I let you this time frame that does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice movement today, not only from the price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume and well above average volume on the day. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's map out some areas of support and then we can talk levels of resistance. So the first level of support is what I would you know, definitely call the, the must hold level. And I'll explain that in a second. But that comes via down here at 14 and a half cents. Why is 14 and a half very important? Well, I'm not saying this is what's going to occur, but in the event the price were to come down to 14 and a half and then just continue on down, from a very literal perspective, that would literally be putting the price right back to where it was before the big breakout that happened today. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements that go back to where they were, not exactly a sign of true power, true strength, or anything like that. If this price movement does have some true power, then you're gonna to wanna to start to see it make progress forward. So if the price comes down here, but in this situation behaves like that, and then starts to work its way back upwards, what would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have those lows down there. If you envision each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do over time. It's gonna make progress forward. And in this situation, I'm just defining and quantifying that phrase progress as 14 and a half. As far as levels of resistance are concerned, in the very near term, it's all about that pink line there, which on my chart is denoting the 200 period at simple moving average. So you can see several times today, the price tried to get up above it, couldn't quite do it. So that would be the initial area. If the price can push up through there, then yeah, you can start to be looking up here around uh, the 17 cent area, but one hurdle at a time. And like I said, that first hurdle in the near term is gonna be that 200 period simple moving average. All in all though, interesting day to day, good volume, good momentum. We'll see if the bulls can build upon this or not next week. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.